Hello, welcome to Prathul Gorkar Educational Channel. Today I will give you introduction of another important subject, Immunology. Now nearly for one year you have been hearing about importance of good level of immunity to fight any microbial infection and particularly viral infections like COVID-19. Hence, good understanding of immunology subject is very important. Immunology subject deals with the physiological functioning of immune system of our body both in health and disease. And the components of immune system are white blood cells, antibodies, complement system, lymphatic system, spleen, bone marrow and thymus gland. Malfunctioning in any one of these components may lead to a disease condition. Well, complete version of this online lecture is available on YouTube. I suggest you to take lots of interest in immunology subject and get mastery on this subject since large number of job opportunities will be available now in health sector related industries due to present and upcoming pandemic phases. There is a boom in industries such as pharmaceutical companies, diagnostic biomedical companies, clinical laboratories, vaccine manufacturing industries and in educational sector. To understand immunology subject well, first you should get introduced to these terms very well. Immunity, antigen, antibody, innate immunity, adoptive immunity, immunization, active immunity and passive immunity. Similarly, you should be familiar with T cells, B cells, macrophages, cytokines, plasma cells, complement system and major histocompatibility complex. Well, let us discuss these terms now. First, immunity. Immunity is the ability of any individual to resist attacks by various microorganisms and this ability is derived since birth. Then, an antigen. An antigen is a foreign substance like microorganism that triggers the activation of white blood cells which destroy the invading microorganisms and also produce antibodies to destroy them. Adoptive immunity occurs after exposure to an infectious agent that means antigen and it is specific and mediated by antibody or lymphocytes and it can be active or passive. Active immunity is induced after contact with foreign antigens and this contact may be clinical or subclinical infection. Immunization with live or killed infectious organisms or their antigens, exposure to microbial products or toxins or transplantation of foreign cells. And then passive immunity. In passive immunity, the antibody is produced outside the body of an individual in experimental animals such as rabbit or horse etc. These antibodies are then collected from the animal sera and then given to an individual. This gives short term protection from a possible infection. Innate immunity is resistance of body against microorganisms already present in the body and it is not acquired through contact with foreign substance like antigen or microorganism. It is non-specific and includes barriers of infectious agents such as skin, mucous membrane, white blood cells, complement system and specific proteins secreted by white blood cells that means cytokines. Well, T lymphocytes are those lymphocytes that pass through thymus gland and have capability to kill microorganisms by various chemical reactions. 
and B cells, B lymphocytes are those lymphocytes that develop in the bone marrow. On stimulation by antigen, B cells create plasma cells that produce antibodies. And cytokines are small cell signaling protein molecules that are secreted by white blood cells. These are signaling molecules and stimulate white blood cells to fight against invading microorganisms and example you already know interferons and uh, interleukins. Complements are specific proteins of normal plasma that cause the binding and killing of bacteria. The complement system refers to a series of more than 20 proteins circulating in blood and tissue fluids. Most of the complement proteins are normally inactive, but in response to the recognition of molecular components of microorganisms, they become sequentially activated. The end products of complements act on invading microorganisms and attract lymphocytes to destroy them. They also produce inflammatory reactions. Now about the major histocompatibility complex. The major histocompatibility complex is a large gene complex found in cells. These encode MHC molecules. There are two general classes of MHC molecules, class 1 and class 2. Class 1 MHC molecules are found on almost all cells of the body. And class 2 MHC molecules are found in certain immune cells, mainly macrophages and B cells. Proteins are continuously synthesized in the cells, which are our own proteins, cell proteins. However, microbial proteins may be present in the cell due to infection, and these are non cell proteins. A MHC molecule inside the cell takes a fragment of these proteins and displays it on the cell surface. When the MHC protein complex is displayed on the surface of the cell, it can be presented to a nearby immune cell, usually a T cell or natural killer cell. If immune cell recognizes the protein as non-cell, it, it kills the infected cell. Cell-mediated immunity means immunity produced by activation of macrophages and cytotoxic T leukocytes by the microbial antigen presented by the infected cells on MSC protein class 1 and CD8 leukocytes play very important role in these reactions. Humoral antigen-mediated immunity means immunity produced by B leukocytes by presence of microbial antigens in body fluids and CD4 T lymphocytes play a very important role in these reactions by interacting with antigen presented by MHC class 2 type of protein complex. In general, the first line of defense against infections is provided by the intact skin and mucous membrane of the body. When first line of defense is overcome by the microorganisms, the second line of defense comes into action by 1. White blood cells, 2. Complement system, 3. Humoral immunity, and 4. By cell mediated immunity. Serology is one very important field of immunology in which you will be able to study antigen and antibody reactions to diagnose a specific disease. For these studies, serum is used and by detecting specific antibodies or antigens and using technique like ELISA, detection of microbial infections is possible. Well, these are your theory syllabus topics.
and this is the list of practicals you will perform in a laboratory Now just see if you can answer these table viva voce questions and MCQs. Well, visit our YouTube channel for information on laboratory test and refer to any one of our these books for more information on immunology and full set of laboratory experiments and also free sets of MCQs. Kindly subscribe.
Praful Gorkar Educational Channel on YouTube and share with all your friends. Next time I will resume back with a new topic for you. Till then take care, keep yourself in happy frame of mind and study well. I wish you all the best.